Hey, what is going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to another episode of FIFA 13, my squads. Basically, I have been buying a fair amount of squads in the last few days. Too many to do like individual squad builders for them. So what I'll do is I'll just run them, th run through them with you, you know, just show you all of them. But first off, I didn't want to waste this footage. This is actually uh, some footage of me getting a specific team of the year player in a pack. Who's it going to be? Danny Alves, yeah, we picked him up on about half an hour before EA took all of the Team of the Year players out of packs. Decided to go for one last little pack opening and we got him. And uh, <laughs> I was going pretty ape shit at this moment in time. I believe I just leave it like this for ages because I'm busy tweeting, I'm busy going off on one on Skype with my mates. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't recording, so there isn't any live reaction or anything. But needless to say, I was pretty happy because uh, Danny Alves he actually sold for 850k. So that is without doubt the biggest pull that I have had uh, this year on Ultimate Team. Yeah, no doubt about it. What what a player to pull in a pack. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you a couple of teams which I've had recently but have now sold on and then we'll get onto the teams that I've currently got. So this first squad right here is actually uh, the 352 crazy team of the year squad which um, you know during the time where I had the team of the year Ronaldo lent to me. That was lent to me by It's Gilly Gills. I'm hoping to do a review on him. Uh, so obviously again his link and stuff will be in the description um, you know you guys have managed to get into about 1500 subs which is great and as you can see here this Ronaldo stats look absolutely immense I will be doing a review on him fairly shortly but other than that you've got people like Xavi, Iniesta, uh, Falcao team of the year and then obviously regular Lionel Messi who is just a fantastic player but when I was playing with this squad I was really doing badly and I figured that I had this for a couple of weeks and I thought maybe it was just maybe it was this team perhaps um, so I figured what I'd want to do is when I had this Ronaldo I would change it up maybe get a new squad to try and see if anything would play a little bit better uh, so this is the squad that I actually went with once we cross dissolve we have gone with this squad right here we changed the formation up to a 4-3-3 and as you can see it's a bit of a cheaper squad um, you know compared to the other one it's still very expensive we've still got like Neuer, Marcelo team of the year we've got like Ozil and Kroos and then Robin and Inform Neymar um, so it's still you know by no means is this a cheap squad but I figured I don't know maybe there was a handicap or something I'm not sure but what I would do is just you know see if this squad would play any better as you can see here Neymar with those crazy stats there uh, cost a million coins for an 86 rated player now that is ridiculous um, but this team didn't play an awful lot better and maybe a little bit better as soon as Ronaldo got six goals in three games um, but it was still felt like it wasn't too you know fantastic but those were the two squads I previously had now let me get showing you the squads that are currently in my ultimate team Right then guys, now that I have shown you the couple of squads that I've had previously uh, and currently just, you know, sold on, I will take I will take you through the squads that I have right now. As you can see, we've got two bronze, two silver and two gold teams. So let's just get right into it. You have seen these bronze teams before, so we won't spend too much time on them. But the first one here is a bronze English team. We've got the main men. We've got like Osborne, Pierce, um Taylor, McSheffrey, Slew up front, you know, so the main team is there really essentially and that's that squad, uh, it's decent, I haven't used bronzes for a while, um, last team I used was probably the one with that inform Rojas in it, but this, this squad right here is actually a um, slightly updated MLS squad from what I've had previously, I've got this guy in here now rather than somebody else uh, and I think I've changed Ricketts, I think I've brought in this Camargo guy, and this guy's brilliant. He's got like long shot taker trait, and um, I know it says I've only played one game with him, but he did score an absolute cracker for me. What a player he is! Uh, so we've got the main men again, you know, James and Opara. We've got uh, Kanji, and then this guy. What beast he is! Paolo Junior, uh, 16 goals in the 13 games that I played. He's an absolute beast, and I love him very much in this game. 
So those are the two bronze squads. I will show you the first silver squad. We're changing the formation up. I know you guys really like that. And who is that we have over in the, in this squad? We've got a French squad, French silvers, uh, with a special player being this guy right here. But we'll get to him in a second. In goal, we've got... Um, Probably the the high, most highly rated silver French goalkeeper, uh, Remy Vercoutre, I'm going to say. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but six foot one goalie for Olympic Lyonnais. Um, the two centre backs are pretty beastly. We've got uh, Muyo Colo and Zuma, both decent pace and both you know decent at all. I'm pretty sure this guy, Kurt Zuma, is actually a target for Man United in the summer. So. Uh, make a look out for him. You know he could be someone in the future. I guess that's one of the reasons why he's quite expensive, because he has been linked with Manu. Uh, we've got people like Dumbia here who plays for Wolves. Um, Gael Kakuta. We've got this guy. I think I think Mvumba. I'm going to call him. I think he should play more of a CDM role with those stats. Uh, but this was going on the cheap, so I figured I'd pick that one up and try him out. And he does all right, but what I tend to do is uh, actually go like this when I'm in game, and like that. I put Ali Adier out on the cam position, and then put Pogba there just so we can try and have a bit of fun with him, uh, because you know he's he's not actually mine. Paul Pogba belongs to Kieran Karen. Let me say that again. He belongs to Kieran Kenny HD, who is another FIFA YouTuber, um, and he's kindly let me borrow him. You see, he bought him for six hundred thousand coins. And could possibly take a loss on him because he bought him quite early on. Uh, but he was busy, so he said, lastly, would you like to borrow him? And I thought, yeah, I'd absolutely love to. Uh, so as you can see there, Paul Pogba, great stats on his card, uh, for especially for a silver. That's why he costs so much money. And from that centre forward position, which I just showed you, he scored four goals in two games. Apologies about my phone. Um which is decent he's got an incredible long shot hopefully I'll, I will stick some of those goals in at the end but Kenny's channel will be in the description you know again it's nice for someone to lend me a player to see how you know how it works out I like that in this FIFA community we're sort of sharing a bit now that's great so Kenny's channel will be in the description if you could you know go over there sub say hi whatever uh, from me that would be absolutely fantastic right so that is the French squad um, Paul Pogba and then Lacazette up front. He's he's really good. I really like him in this game. Uh, first time I've used him and yeah, I, I love him. Four star skills and a lovely shot on him. So that is that squad. Moving on. Oh, do I want to show you this silver squad? I really want to do a squad builder on it. We'll leave it. We might we might show you at the end, but we'll, we'll go we'll go on to the gold teams. As you can see, this is a fairly cheap squad actually. Um, I've as you know, I've had some extremely expensive squads recently, uh, like what you saw at the start of this video, and they haven't really been working out too well for me. So I thought I'd build this. Uh, it's relatively cheap. We've got people, you know, very very strong. We've got Dede and Naldo in there. This guy's an absolute beast, Elias. Um, Asaidi out on one side and Sydney Sam out on the other. And then two informs that I've wanted to try out. Uh, inform Labiad from last week, who has got a four star skill moves and five star weak foot, which is great. Uh, scored two goals in the two games that I played and only cost about 20k, so that's really good. Uh, and then Lewis Holtby, oh, I absolutely love this guy. He scored three goals in the two games. Uh, his price may have fluctuated a lot now. I know I bought him quite early, uh, but 80 pace, 84 dribbling, 77 shooting, 83 passing. Absolutely phenomenal player. I really, really like him in this game. I believe he's going to Spurs in the summer. Uh, so, you know, another great player to come into the Premier League. Four-star skills and weak foot and a cracking left peg on him. Uh, one of my favourite players in this game. So glad he's got an inform. And then like Marco Royce up top, who you can't really beat. He's an absolute beast. But moving on to the next squad. This is a variation on the other 4-3-3 squad that I showed you. It's a bit cheaper, but for me it feels a bit better. Um, we have got people like, we've switched it out, we've switched the defence up a bit, we've taken out Ganzo and Ozil in the midfield, we've taken out Team of the Year Marcelo, um, just to add some players in there that I, th I figured I really enjoy playing with on this game, uh, and that actually play really well, and this link is amazing, Inform Paulinho with uh, the newly transferred Alexandra Pato, uh, only 5k for him you'll, you'll pay, which is great, really, you know, really solid player for that much money. Uh, as you can see, we've got Ian Robin out here, who has scored seven goals in seven games, which is a good little stat to have. And then, of course, the big man, Cristiano Ronaldo, just the regular card. Um, 
15 goals in 12 games. I, there's no difference between him and the team of the year one, in my opinion. Uh, he's still a really fantastic player. Him and Messi are two best players on Ultimate Team for me. Uh, and just a really, really solid team. Uh, this might be one of the best defenders in the game. Uh, Jermaine Boateng. Is it? No, Jerome. <laughs> Jermaine. Jerome Boateng. What a good player he is. Um, so, yeah, that is the All My Squads. Let me show you the other team. Why not? I'll show you the second silver squad. We've got a 4 1 2 1 2. Uh, I might still do a squad builder on this, but it's kind of hybridy, I guess you could call it. Um, it's a really, really strong team. We've got essentially we've got some Belgian Pro League players uh, as three of our defenders, our goalkeeper and our first central defensive mid. Uh, you know, the two centre backs here, we've got Orlenbach and Donk, who have both got ridiculous pace, or redonkulous pace, you could say, and really good defending stats, so that's that's great on them. Uh, we've got out wide, we've got Ney, or Nai, uh, and Safari, who are both very pacey. Um, Odjida, Ofoe, maybe? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, uh, but I've literally just bought this team, so I've only bought these all of these squads in you know the last couple of days, so... That is why there's only got a couple of games played, but I figured it was about time I just showed you everything that was in my squad rather than do one squad builder a week type thing. Uh, so look at those stats on there for a silver. What an incredible player he is in this game. Uh, out wide we've got uh, McKay Steven or Mackay Steven, uh, who links up perfectly with our striker, who I'll get onto in a minute. But five star skill moves on him is fantastic. Uh, we've also got uh, Mike Onliete. Five star skills once again, uh, 92,000 paid for him. His price seems to have risen slightly. Uh, Zha Zha, who is no longer in Ultimate Team, I believe. He, you know, he's you can no longer pull him in packs, which is why he costs 14,000. I've got one on the trade pile, which was about 8,000, something like that, which was kindly given to me by my mate Jamie. You all know him by now. Um, but yeah, I've decided I, I had to go and sell that one and buy this one back because it was cheaper than buying a 4-1-2-1-2. But 5-star skill moves on him and a lovely left-footed shot is pretty cool. Uh, and then up front we have got the original Wallison who plays for Cruzeiro. Cruzeiro? I don't know. But he's gone up in price a bit again. He sort of dropped to about 100k and then he's gone back up to about 160 here. Um, his transferred Sao Paulo card is about 180, 190, which I don't understand that at all. They are essentially exactly the same card. But hoping, you know, this one will become rarer and rarer and maybe go up a little bit in price. But the main man of this squad is in form Johnny Russell. I just picked him up. 418k is ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to lose a couple of hundred thousand on that one. But oh well. Three star skills and a lovely left footed shot. 91 pace, 70 shooting. Let me know, guys, if you would like to see maybe a player review of him and maybe Pogba or something. Let me know, guys. But that has basically been all of my my squads episode god knows how many by now but you know we, we show you my squads every now and again thank you ever so much for watching a like would be greatly appreciated and i will catch you next time guys peace Shit on a breath that she telling me to leave Saying shit is getting better But she don't believe Saying baby stay I need you like the air that I breathe Screaming I ain't seen nobody else You everything I need Yeah, okay I guess I said that all before But that welcome at me nothing If you walk out of that door Who I'ma be without you To be honest I ain't sure Maybe so you won't forget Probably go take over the world She said yeah, okay Have fun controlling up your next bitch I get all my advice from girls Who never had relationships Relationship, so I'll just take the best I ever had and go and wreck the ship They say that hope floats, so I'm about to go and sink the ship Cause it felt like I was trying to bail it out during a hurricane Trying to rekindle a fire doused in an infinite rain Felt like the kid had been drowning, lifted in spite of the pain Cause no one prepared for the bird that rose from the ash and the flames